Are you ready to get snappy? Welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are unfamiliar with what we do, we are the Wine Snobs. I'm Quelly. And I'm Jade. And you are watching Cooking with the Wine Snobs. Both Jade and I are wine enthusiasts, and what we like to do is take recipes and infuse them with wine. So our recipes specialize in being made in 30 minutes or less. And that's what makes us unique, because you're getting real cooking time completely authentic as if you were in your own home. Like I had mentioned before, in part one, we're going to be making Quelly's infamous Sauvignon Blanc cilantro lime rice. Yes. This is one of my particular favorites. Mm -hmm. Now, Sauvignon Blanc translates to crazy white, which I love to call my man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, much like the Pinot Gris, it's known for the Bordeaux, 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 Bordeaux how do you say it? Called? Bordeaux. Bordeaux region of France. It hails from the Bordeaux region of France. <laughs> it's known for its grassy-like taste, and it boasts a great citrus lime flavor. Now, for today, though, we are using Washington Hills um, Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, this wine has uh, that grassy taste, and that grassy taste is really going to help us um, assist that cilantro lime rice in this recipe. Without further ado, are you guys ready to get snobby? Yeah. What you're going to need for this recipe is simple, very minimal ingredients. You're going to need one cup of long grain rice, two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. I love the smell of cilantro. I can smell cilantro all day. I love cilantro. You're going to need the juice from half of a lime. You're also going to need some of the zest, just a little bit of the zest from the lime, so just take it and grate it a little bit. I usually just use my knife and just because it's only minimal zest. I don't like too much zest. You are going to need one fourth teaspoon of cumin. Cumin is the key here, guys. You're going to need one fourth teaspoon of cumin. You're also going to need one and three fourths cup chicken broth. You're going to need some Sauvignon Blanc. We're only using a little bit of this today. We're going to be using one fourth cup of Sauvignon Blanc. So one fourth cup of Sauvignon Blanc. And that's it, folks. Told you. Real simple. That's it. Boom. We're going to take it over to Jay because Jay is on the what's and twos with this. Booyah. All right, guys. So let's get cooking. So snobs. Obviously, you're going to need the main ingredient, which is the long green rice. Just add it to your pot. Once you do that, you can set the stove to like a medium heat. Let's put it between three and five, so about four. Um, add your one and three-fourths cup of chicken broth. Then, you can add your one fourth cup of the crazy whites, AKA of your blonde. Crazy. <laughs> Let's not forget the cumin, quelly hounds in me for this. The press. Drop the saline in as such. Squeeze that bad boy right over the pot. Mm, get in there good. Look at these muscles flex. That's when I thread my man with when he get crazy. <laughs> and now we're going to add the cilantro. Gonna get the zest she was talking about in there. And then we're gonna stir this bad boy like so. So after stirring this, we're gonna give it about five or so minutes just to boil. And once it boils, we're gonna put the lid on, reduce to a nice simmer, and let all of this absorb into the rice, and then, boom, cilantro lime rice infused with Sauvignon Blanc. So 
snobs, there you have it. Pinot Grigio infused garlic rustic chicken. And Sauvignon Blanc infused cilantro lime rice. We really hope that you guys enjoy this recipe as much as we do. If you are in the Southern Westchester area, come by, stop by and have a drink with me and Jade. We host tastings monthly and I'll stop on by. We look forward to seeing you guys. Yes, and folks, guess what? With this said and done, you can now call yourself cooking snobs. So, cheers to that. <laughs>